everybody. I'm so glad you're here. I'm just finishing up one of my Earth Day art projects. This is called Trash Art. So um, what I did is I just went through the trash and found some colorful pieces and started making some flowers out of it. So this is a piece of um, cardboard that was a box that was in the trash. This is the toilet paper uh, roll. This yellow is a bread sack, and all these little foils <laughs> are Easter candy wrappers. Hmm, I bet you have some of those, and you even get to eat the candy. But if you don't want to eat the candy, I just threw a couple pieces away because I was getting kind of full. So this is Reese uh, peanut butter cup with a little bit of white from one of the other candies. So over here I have Kit Kat, Twix, Three Musketeers, there was some Snickers bar. This is kind of cool. This is just um, a wrapper from a crackers that were in the trash. And then these are the Hershey Kiss um, surprises that are inside. So I kind of like that one. I'm gonna do um, one more. And I'm just gonna, I usually tell you guys to put the glue on the thing that's sticking down. But in this case, it's working out better if I'm putting it down on the big piece. I know that breaks the rule, but that's kind of how it's working. I did this all without um, hot glue gun, so you guys can do it all on your own. Just It doesn't have to be flowers when you make your trash art. Just whatever you feel like you can make, and you guys are so creative. I can't wait to see some of your finished products. So I'm just going to glue those down. The thing with foil is really cool because um, you can slice it and bend it up to make it look like it's moving. I'll show you in just a second. So no fair going in your craft bucket and getting construction paper and pipe cleaners and yarn and all that kind of cool stuff. Everything in your trash art has to actually be trash. So the way you kind of make this foil have movement so just kind of slice put some slices on it wherever and remember what Miss Misha says art is beautiful to everyone everyone's art is different so yours can be a garbage truck for Earth Day it can be a windmill for recycling um, wind whatever you want to do so i cut some slices now i'm just going to kind of fold them up all the little different pieces to make it look kind of like 3d looks kind of cool this i've had fun doing this it's um so relaxing just like when miss misha comes maybe your parents can put on some nice soft music like you listen to during art time so this um was in the trash this the string here and I'm just gonna write on the bottom of mine um, Earth Day twenty twenty and over here if you were in class I would write first grade and over here I would write your name So you might not be sitting in class, but you can definitely do the assignment. And then you have something really cool to hang on your wall. And then every Earth Day from now on, you'll have your little Earth Day project. I thought I started to not do this one because I thought it was weird. But now that I'm looking at it, hmm, it's kind of my favorite thing. So come on with me outside and I'll show you another Earth Day project to do sunglasses because it's super bright outside. Okay, so I'm just going to put my Earth Day wall hanging right there because I love it. I'm going to throw out my iced tea. Actually, I'll give it to the plant. And so what we have here is what we have here is going to be a nature 
recycling Earth Day project and it is going to be a bug hotel. So what I did is I just got a two liter out of our recycling. This was Coca-Cola and I slit a slit in it like right there. Your parents can do that. Um, when I did it before I've used an X-Acto knife but today I just started it with a knife out of the kitchen drawer and then I just finished the slice with some scissors. So you take your little container and you go on a nature walk and you're going to be building a bug hotel. What would a bug want to snuggle down in? I found some acorns. So take this with you when you go on your walk. I took the bag, but it's more fun to take the container on your walk. So I have an acorn in there. I picked up some sticks to put inside. And some things you could probably drop down the spout. I'm gonna do it this way. Um, I had some dead leaves that I picked up. And another stick. This is a big one. I can just put it down there. I picked up some green um, clippings that Mr. Bivens cut this morning while he was doing some yard work. So I'm going to put those in there. It's really fun going on it walk and collecting little pieces of nature. Um, here's some juniper bushes that we don't like, but we're taking care of them. So I just got some of these cuttings and I'm going to put that in there. Let's see. I'll put it up that way. And down in that way. Uh, here's a big stick. I don't know if that's going to work. It looks like I could probably do it. Let's see. Nope. I don't think it's going to go. Well, that one's not going to work. We have some more sticks. Just things that bugs would like to hide in and keep them warm. And fill it up. Um, you could even put some pretty flowers in there. If you wanted to, make it look a little brighter. Oops. Then after you get all of your pieces of nature in there for your bug hotel, you take a string and tie it around the top. And then you take your bug hotel out and you hang it on a tree or you hang it on a fence and then you can go out and you can see right inside of it to see if there's any critters living inside so that's a really um, easy craft to do I really like Earth Day so a bug hotel some trash art and you are um, on your way. So before I close off, I wanna say that um, yesterday's um, What's My Number math game had a little glitch in it. So if you find the glitch, the mistake, the error in the What's My Number video, go ahead and email and say, ah, I found it and I will give you a shout out on the next um, upcoming video. So far, uh, Melody has found the mistake, Mrs. Baker found the mistake, and Miss Cindy. So um, I look forward to those emails. So happy hunting for that error. And um, what do you feed a racehorse? What do you feed a racehorse? Fast food. <laughs> See you later.